You have ascended to level 21. The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck. But you know you've earned every ounce of your success. Yeah, like killing Man of Marco. Kind of. We cheated, but he cheated. He cheated life by becoming a lich and then becoming a moon. And then came back to life. I'm not sure I entirely understand how all of that happened. If you're already the moon, why would you want to come back as a person? I certainly wouldn't want to. If I'm the moon, I'd be like, yeah, I'm happy as the moon. Wasn't he literally a god that way? Or kind of technically a god that way? You know, I'm the archmage. Let me in. Someone give me a key. I should be able to open all of these. This is all mine now. Uh, Mr. Archmage, that's not how this works. It all belongs to me. It's all mine. I hope I can help. I hope you can. Farewell, Archmage. So now, how do I get into the orrery? What is my active quest, even? Oh, okay, to speak with Julianne about collecting alchemical ingredients for the Archmage. For myself. Ah, yes, Archmage, I have a slight request for you. Would you like to gather ingredients for yourself? Well, I do say, Julianne. Sure. Why not? As it is, we're still finding uh, alchemy ingredients for Vilya. She hasn't found what she's looking for yet, so I might as well find some ingredients, then she'll find some ingredients, and it'll be a whole thing. She'll find one more ingredient, and I'm going to say, how many do you need? And she's going to say, 20! And I'm going to shit myself. Hi, Julian. What can I do for you, Archmage? That's right. I'm the Archmage. A pleasure to speak with you. Well, tell me about the ingredient collection. Ah, yes. Archmage Traven was quite fond of making potions in his spare time. So much so, in fact, that it became difficult for me to meet his needs. I finally accommodated him by enchanting a very special chest for him. You'll find it in the Archmage's quarters. Once a week, place a single ingredient in the chest. After 24 hours, you'll find a sizable quantity of the ingredient available for use. <gasps> Do be prompt in collecting them, however. Anything left in the chest for a full week will be destroyed. Nern root. And before you ask, yes, this only works with ingredients. Be very careful in what you place in that chest. I can't be held responsible. Nern root. I can make all the Nern root. Why am I asking about Nern root? Is she going to tell me it doesn't work with Nern root? Good luck with your field work for Sundarian. Okay, I was worried she was going to say, "Oh, it works for everything but Nern root." If you come across any unusual ingredients in your travels, be sure to remember me and bring them here. <laughs> as soon as ingredients come up in conversation, Vilya just appears at a thin air. Ingredients. Oh, I heard you're talking about ingredients. What is it, citizen? Citizen? How dare you? I've never been so offended. Oh, so... Archmage... Guildmaster of the Fighters Guild... And champion of the Imperial City Arena. That's not too shabby. That's, too, that's not too bad for, um... I was gonna say one day's work. It hasn't been one day. It has been probably months. Martin's probably wondering what I'm up to. Where I am. What I'm doing. Sorry, Martin. Apparently, I think there's more important things than, uh... You know, you learning that you're a septum. That the world is ending because Oblivion is invading... But, you know, you'll, um, you'll get used to it. So just place one Nern root. And what time is it? It is Turdas at 11.46. So I have to come back 
next Turdas. It is Turdas, 20th of Evening Star. There's no way I'm going to remember that, so allow me to jot that down on a piece of paper. Okay. All set. Wait, where does this lead? Oh! The vault? I just noticed that on the wall. What is this? Staff of the Battle Mage? Grand Amulet of Reflection? Oh, I'm over encumbered. Vilya, get down here. Grand Ring of Magicka? And an Elemental Ring. Vilya? Oh no, Vilya's not down here, is she? Okay. Okay. Well, let me look at these rings, because we have the Elemental Ring. Resist, Fire, Frost, and Shock. Not bad. Base Amulet Absorption is Spell Absorption of 14 points. But I got the Grand Amulet Reflection. Reflect Spell 20% on Self. Which is better than Absorption, I feel. Grand Ring of Magicka. Fortify Magicka, 30 points on Self, yes. What other ring was I using? Fortify Block and Blade? Yeah, let's use that for now. Yeah, I just need Vilya to get down here now. Um, here's what I'll do. I'll drop... I'll drop these. Still over encumbered. Wait, what? Oh, because one of the rings I was using fortified my, uh, strength and everything. Ooh, not smart. Okay. I was using the mind and body ring, so... Oh, we're just gonna have to be a little careful about this. Because without the mind and body ring, my... Carry weight drops to 350 out of... Well, currently 390. I just need to sell a ton of stuff. I can't afford to carry half the stuff that I have. Or not even half the stuff I have, but I can't afford to carry some of this stuff. So let's put away... Mano Marco's stuff. Because I'm not using that, but I'm gonna hold on to it. You know, as a keepsake. As a memory of the time that I got my ass whooped. Why would you want to remember that? I don't know. I just... I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm pretty sure. I'm just putting away the things that I know I'm not going to use. Staff of Worms. Yeah, let's put that away. Mace of the Storm. I forgot I had that. Okay. Exactly 27,000 gold. 353 out of 390. And without my... Um, well, without my... Mind and body ring, it's going to jump down to 350. So I'm getting close. Potion of anti venom. Oh, am I going to get potions here? Cure disease, cure poison, potion of health, strong potion of health. Well, I want restore health, not. I don't want to fortify it. We might not have. Oh, what is this? Wait, what is going on here? Why is there all this stuff here? Was this added by one of the mods? Is this just like a cheat room, essentially? Or not a cheat room, but it's like, hey, thanks for killing Mana Marco. Now you're, um, invincible. Do you think the stuff in here changes every now and then? I don't want to go crazy and take everything in here. That seems a little bit ridiculous. Oh, is this just kind of like a storeroom if I want to put stuff on display here? Or store stuff here? Because it said, you know, like... Daedric relics, alien relics. What's up here? I see gems and minerals on the shelf above. I just want to grab those. Greater soul gem. Don't mind if I do. Empty soul gems, alright. I'm gonna take the soul gems. 
What is this place? Are there any skill books here, maybe? Let me take the manual of spellcraft, that way I can just learn how to make spells. That way I just have it on me, because man, I could use that. Destruction skilling, skill, skill increase because of response to Barra's speech by Malvasar Battle Mage. Oh, map marker added for Chronicles of the Holy Brothers of Maruk, Volume 4. Let me take this then, so I can read that so I have a little bit better context of what's going on. Manual of Armor. Okay. Oh god, look at all the books! Look at all of these goddamn books. Ooh, my illusion skill increased, all right. This is nuts. Mage's robe, black robe. Why would I have why would I want a black robe here? What kind of archmage am I, huh? Silver daggers. All right, we've gone in a full circle, so let's go into this room then and see what's going on here. Oh. Wait, do we have some more... Staff of Legion. Staff of... Sundering. Staff of Stopping. All right. More gold, I'll take it. This is my vault, after all. Uh, Mr. Archmage, this is the vault for everyone? Oh. Was I not supposed to take everything? No, you weren't. Oh, the Bloodworm Helm is here. Oh. They don't want me to have the Necromancer's Amulet. Bloodworm Helm? Yeah, leave that out of display. But uh, other stuff? Nah, you can't have that. Well, this is very, very pretty. Man, this reminds me of the Museum and Legacy of the Dragonborn. Which version... Five just came out, and I am looking forward to playing it. I had a couple of people asking what's going on with version 5 and what my plans are for version 5. I will not be doing it on YouTube. The reason for that is just because of the fact that I've already done a full playthrough of Legacy of the Dragonborn. My main concern is that while version 5 will me. be you know, updated, read. have a new museum and everything, my concern is that in the end, doing a second playthrough would be just far too similar to the original. So I will be working on a video just to show off the museum and show off new features of the mod. But I will not be doing a full playthrough. I will likely stream it on Twitch though. Because I do need to play through the new version of Legacy of the Dragonborn because that is the version that will be uh, compatible with their sequel mod, Odyssey of the Dragonborn. Which is still a while out, but a uh, playthrough of Legacy of the Dragonborn is going to take a while anyway. Alright, so let's see. Let's take a look at our quest. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Repairing the Orrery. I've discovered a note from Bothiel at the Arcane University. If I can recover the Dwarven artifacts that have gone missing, there may be a reward. I should travel to Camp Ales and see if I can track down these bandits. So let's mark that. Before we go anywhere, I need to sell stuff. So let's head over to the Imperial City Market District because I need to sell a lot of what I have, need to repair stuff, get new repair hammers, repair Vilya's armor, repair her weapons. It's a whole long, Hello, guildmate. arduous Hello, process. So May let's I just, let's get to it. But I'm glad that I took this chance to kind of explore a little bit around the Mage's Guild, or around the Arcane University and everything. Hello. I got to see the vault, I got to check that out. What is very it, lovely. citizen? Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? Alright, what's up? I do like you. But you're still way too curious. Well, it's true. You know what was fun? Growing up as a kid named George. And, uh, people making curious George jokes. Not talking about the monkey. Talking about being bi-curious. And I'm like, alright. Thank you for that. Of course. 
Maybe this would be a good time to repair our armor. So I got her armor fully repaired. I took some of the stuff that I don't need her to have in her inventory. But I do need to take the Daedric gear out of her inventory. Because she has a lot of Daedric gear in her inventory still. I'm going to give her the Mace of Encumbrance. And I'm going to hold on to the Mace of Fracturing. I would rather use it. I would rather hold on to it. But I might start using the Mace of the Storm instead. Uh, let me give her that for now. Yeah, she can hold on to both those maces. I'm going to stick with the Mace of the Storm for now. Yes? Goodbye. So let's quickly hotkey that. Let me just take a look at that, baby. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I know I enchanted it. I know I'm the reason it's Mace of the Storm. Or at least I'm pretty sure that was me. Either way, I like it. Oh, that's right, because I picked up an ebony mace and I said, you know what, let me enchant this. So no, it's not the best enchantment, but it's better than nothing right now. That was only my first shop. I still have to stop everywhere. So we got a lot more to do. See you. Alright, I think we're set for now. 221 carry weight out of 355. Not using the mind and body ring for right now because I'm just going to use the effects of the Blackstone, which fortifies health and restores fatigue constantly, and the Grand Ring of Magicka to boost my Magicka quite a little bit. 30 points, that's nothing to sneeze at. I sold stuff, I put stuff away. Vili and I, we are set. We are ready to continue the adventure that, you know, I haven't touched. I said I was going to do it, and here I am just having accomplished very little so far. Alright, Camp Ales. Let's walk from Brittle Rock Cave. I also want to look around real quick because I don't know what was marked by the uh, the Maruk book that I read, so I'm just going to take a look at the map and see if I can figure out what was added by that. So according to the book, it should be a temple called Malata, but I don't see that many undiscovered map markers on my map. So maybe I already found it and it was just... wait a second. There it is, Malata. Alright. That's very far away. It's by Sundercliff Watch? What is over there? Alright. We'll jot that down as something to get to. So it's not Camp Ales, but there is a camp right over here. Protected by this little wolf. Oh god, Vilya had no chill. She just murdered that wolf immediately. Alright, Vilya, calm down. I know it's our enemy and everything, but, you know, still. Let him get one bite in. Let him feel good about himself. Oh, oh, okay, they're not they're not friendly. I don't know why I thought they would be friendly. <gasps> is that an ebony battle axe? Oh, I think it is. Oh, I think it is. Yeah. Ooh, I kinda want that. Man, I feel bad for these bandits. I feel bad in the sense that they don't know what they're getting into. Like, fighting the Archmage, fighting the Fighters Guild Guildmaster. You'd think they'd learn. So he has glass boots and glass greaves. Whoa, wait, what? He has a Daedric bow? He's just casually carrying a Daedric bow? I'm gonna take that. What are you doing with a Daedric bow, sir? I mean, I guess when you think about it, there would be a, um... There would be an increase in people who had Daedric weapons and the like. There would be an increase in people in Cyrodiil having Daedric gear because of the Oblivion Crisis. Wait, what? Curious of Anu's blessing. I'm... I'm gonna take that. Why does she have that? 
Hey, Vilja. Guess what? I found <gasps> one of the ingredients I was looking for. Isn't that great? That's fantastic. Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. Sure. Oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna give you stuff. And I know you're not gonna use it, but you know what? That's what we're using you for. Yeah, you can have the Curus. And I'm gonna give you the Ebony... Uh, Ebony... Ebony Battle Axe. You don't have to use it. You don't have to use any of this stuff, but... Enjoy it. Yes? Enjoy. Anytime. Man, I'm glad I came to this camp. I'm glad I killed these bandits. They would not have been, uh... Well, they would have just been a problem for anyone else who ran into them. Like, if any random adventurer came out here, they would have been so screwed and so Was dead. Was my fault? No, you're fine, Vilya. Don't worry. You're okay. Oh, alright. I'm so glad they locked that away. It's worth five gold. A grand five gold, you say. Also, we're going to save because Vilya found one of her ingredients. And the last thing I want is to lose that progress. Because, weirdly enough, that is uh, a lot of progress. Like, it doesn't sound like a lot, but my god, I think it's the fourth ingredient she's found. So hopefully it really is just going to be like five ingredients or something. Because, my god, it just takes forever. Ha -ha! What, who's there? Who's there? Oh, just another wolf. Alright, fine. You can bully him. Yep. Bullied all the wolves. Is that the best you can do, huh? Oh, who is this? Aside from a very, very shiny... Oh, it's just a bandit, but... Very shiny bandit. With an enchanted weapon, mind you. I keep on missing with this spell. It's a little embarrassing. At least with this ring, I can cast it three times now, which is kind of nice. And he had a battle axe of rendering? Why are all of these guys so well equipped? He had a canopy helmet, which is showing that it should have an enchantment, but it's not telling me what it is. Oh. He's one of the guys I had to kill. That's why he had the Dwemer thing on him. An undelivered letter. Let's see what it says. Until a buyer can be found, the items should be hidden. Scatter them so the Legion pigs can't ferret them out easily. Use our safe spots at the following camps. Dagny's camp, Broch camp, Bodine camp, Varus camp. Word will be sent when it's time to get rid of these things. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's the thing. That's what I'm looking for. I found a list of locations at which the Dwarven artifacts for the Orrery are being held. I should visit Dagny's camp, Broch camp, Bodian camp, and Varus camp to track down the remaining bandits. Oh, the camp we just went to. Was that one of them? It was. Oh, because I saw there was like a Dwarven cylinder or something. I'm so glad it marks it for me, then. Uh, yeah, let's very quickly head back there. It's not gonna despawn or anything, but I'm just paranoid that it will despawn, so let's get it now. If my horse could get its ass out of my face, that'd be lovely. Yeah, she had the cylinder. I saw it in her inventory, and I thought nothing of it. Because in my mind, I just thought, like, oh yeah, Dwarven Cylinder, like, you'd just see casually in Morrowind. And I thought, yeah, whatever. It's not even a common thing, so I don't know why I just didn't think of it at all. Alright, well, let's head to... Varus. Fast travel to Broch, and then from Broch, we'll head to Dagny's. I like that they're all within, like, a certain radius. Like, it's not all over Cyrodiil, it's camps within a certain radius. That poor wolf. Never stood a damn chance. Alright, Vilya, I see him. I see those tricky bandits. Maybe that's why they have so much good gear. It's because they're part of this little, like, 
bandit smuggler syndicate. Like, if they have the ability to smuggle Dwemer goods, it makes sense that they would have... God damn it. The ability to dodge my magic attacks. Uh, it would just make sense that, you know, they would be able to afford good weapons and armor, so... I get it. I understand it. Also explains the bandit carrier name. The carriers are the ones with the items that I need. Because before this, I was wondering, what kind of class is carrier? Like, oh, no, that's literally what they are. They're carrying the items I'm looking for. Curious of natural assimilation and Stormrider boots. Yeah, see, these have effects on them. The other one did not. It was the helm on the other guy, right? I'm pretty sure, at least. Alright, so... Oh, wait, did I already kill the guy here? No, oh, oh, he's invisible. He's invisible. This is what you get, bandit. Ooh, beaten down in the prime of your life. Oh, the carrier's already dead? Did I kill the carrier forever ago? What happened here? Boots of the Common Sea, Curious of Farlands Trader. At first I thought there was gonna be like one full set of gear, but there's more than one full set here. All right, and now onto the last camp. Let me just search everyone real quick. Ebony Dagger, I'll take it. Staff, I don't need it. Take the arrows, because why not? And let's save just to be safe. I had one crash earlier. Fortunately, it was after I um saved and Vilya had gotten her thing. She had gotten her ingredient. Is it just I'm me or does the tessellation here look really, really gross? Like, I'll let Vilya fight the boar, but like right there. Is it just me, or does the tessellation on the ground look Junior. absolutely disgusting? Did my graphical settings change again? Texture size large. No, everything's the way it should be. I have no idea. Okay. Whatever, we'll deal with it. Oh boy, here we go. There's an Oblivion Gate right here. How close to the camp is it? Oh, it's pretty damn close to the camp. I'm amazed the sky hasn't turned yet. It's it's going to. Like we're absolutely gonna get some darkened You're skies. A dangerous bomb, aren't you? Stupid goddamn ogres. <gasps> You're a dangerous bastard, aren't you? Can the ogre just go into oblivion? What if the ogre emerged victorious from oblivion? Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be grand? Okay, maybe we'll avoid the dark skies, I'm not sure. What if we got to the camp and they were all wiped out by Daedra, and the Daedra took the Dwemer component and took it into... The Oblivion you don't Gate. Scare me. Like, imagine how terrible that would be for me. You had too much wind up on that uh, power attack. You missed. You Am I supposed to be impressed? You're supposed to be dead. I don't care if you're impressed. I just want you to die. That being said, I am taking quite a bit of damage. Ooh. Uchimama. Did George just say Uchimama? Yeah, I don't know. She's almost dead. Look at her burning to death. There we go. Six potions of healing. My god. I'll take it. They have so much gear. Look at all this stuff. It's kind of crazy.
So that should be everything, right? Yep, that was everything. Does the quest need to update, or...? Yes! I have recovered all of the missing dwarven ar artifacts. I should take them to Bothiel at the Arcane University at once, so she can repair the orrery. Perfect. Let me open this. There we go. And now, we can return to the orrery. <laughs>